hearing. Let's dive right in. I want to begin by saying, look, even if you think that you are a finger pro, a lot of people get this wrong. And that is a damn shame because when you finger a woman the right way, it is one of the best, most incredibly pleasurable experiences that a woman can have. Hands down. In this video, I'm gonna tell you step-by-step step how to finger a woman the right way. And I cannot overstate the power of your hands when it comes to making any woman experience ecstatic pleasure. I mean, think about it. What else on this planet has as much precision and control over pressure, pace, rhythm? I mean, it's getting warm in here just thinking about this. You can even change the intensity. You can play around with size. I mean, putting one finger versus three fingers is a very different experience. Plus, your fingers can bend and they can move in ways that a penis or a vibrator can never. You just have to know what to do with them. I'm Caitlin B, your sex and relationship coach, and I put a new video up here every single week to help you improve your sex and relationship life. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you'll get notified every time I do a video like this or go live. And now I'm gonna tell you exactly, exactly how women really want, no, need to be fingered. And I broke it down into five steps, taking you in detail from warm up all the way through to climax. So make sure to stay until the end because we all know the finale is the most important part. So. Where do so many guys get fingering wrong? Well, it's often right off the bat in step one, which is prep yourself and warm her up. For many women, getting finger blasted is one of the first things that we experience sexually, and rarely is it a great experience. And this is because the young, sexually experienced boys and men that we're messing around with don't understand how important, no, how critical a warm-up period is. They also don't understand that there are a couple things that men need to be conscious of when fingering a woman. It might sound obvious, but there are so many people that forget this that I have to say it. Wash your hands and cut your nails. If you have any open sores or bleeding on your hands, use a barrier. I mean, the hand washing part of this is obvious, right? No one wants an infection, but trust me, you get in the heat of the moment, stuff starts happening and well, dirty fingers end up in other places. About the nails, well, one of the worst things that you can do when fingering a woman is to scratch her on the inside. I mean, especially the moves that I'm going to share with you. We're gonna get a little aggressive, so you are gonna want really, really smooth nails. Nothing is worse than when a man is fingering you and then there starts to be some blood or maybe a lot of blood because she's very aroused, there's a lot of blood pumping in the area, and then he says something along the lines of like, babe, I think your period started. Having been that woman on multiple occasions in my 20s, I can say a little Nick can and turn into a bloodbath real fast. And now about the warm up part, because this is really the most critical part. We think sometimes about women as ovens. They need some time to preheat before they are ready to have anything inside of them for baking. In fact, for most women, the most pleasurable and exciting part of the experience is actually the buildup of anticipation. It's when we are feeling desperate for skin to skin contact. These are the things that women often masturbate to. These are the things that women fantasize about, and these are the things that make men truly great lovers, so please do not skip this step. I have some theories as to why a lot of men skip this step. I think there's this sort of like, once we're in the bedroom and the genitals are out, then we have to like, all the buildup is done, and I don't wanna like lose her. I don't want her to like get uninterested, but the truth is that that's not going to happen. Like if you have your warm up game, your, your, your pre-fingering game on point, she is going to be in rapt attention, like, watching your every single move. She's gonna be noticing that you're breathing. Like she's gonna be attentive, okay? It's men that are more likely to like get bored and lose attention, it's not women. So remember that we're different and how you have to arouse us and turn us on works differently. Anyway, no matter how amazing your fingering game is, you want to build up anticipation. If you wait until she is begging you to slide a finger into her. Every single thing you do is going to feel doubly as intense and pleasurable. So then how do you warm her up? Well, make out with her, kiss her neck, gently touch her breasts, run your hands along her inner thighs, take your time and make sure her entire body is ready. No, not just ready, beyond ready for you to work your way down to her vagine or her yoni. Make her desperate 
for you to take off her panties. Gently touch her over and around her vulva, over her underwear. Run your fingers along her. Try pressing your palm against her. Trust me, she will be ready to explode before you know it. This is one of those times where less is actually a whole lot more. And only when you are ready, step two is go slow. Okay, so you've teased her to the point where she is literally going to explode if you don't touch her, if you don't give her that skin to skin contract. Contract, contract. You'll know that she's ready because she'll probably be gyrating her towards you and she's gonna start breathing more heavily and she's gonna start kind of inching her way over to you or even straight up moving your hand. Chances are she's going to be literally begging you to touch her. And you might think that this is the time to give in and give it all you've got. No wrong. This is the time for you to take it slowly. Take off her pants and start with skin to skin external contact, going slowly and gently. Remember, we've built up all of this anticipation, not so that we can come crashing in, but so that we can continue to layer anticipation on top of that. And this is the point that a lot of men get really excited about and get carried away with, and then they just start like the finger blasters on, pew, 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 pew. I can't tell you how many times that the vibe has been ruined by a man who just goes too fast at this step. And you'll know that because often she'll be like, okay, I'm ready to have regular sex. Like, let's just go. She'll probably say it's something like, oh, I've had enough. Let's go. Right. But really it's because the fingering has lost its appeal. You will want to rub up and down her vaginal lips with gentle pressure at first. Rub small circles around her clitoris, which is the most sensitive part of her body. Only graze it ever so often and very gently with the tip of your finger. Explore her vulva. Explore all of her. Make sure that you are wet, your fingers are wet because it's very uncomfortable to have your vulva touched by something dry. But make sure that you are checking in, using your fingers to explore. And also, if you're both comfortable with it, you could even use your tongue at this point. But your fingers are more than capable of getting the job done because right now we're just pretty much creating sensation all over her and helping her body to sort of warm up and realize that more sensation is coming. At this point, you should also notice that she's getting wet. Not all women get wet when they're turned on, so don't take it as a bad sign if she's not. You can also notice that she's grinding towards you, she's moving towards you, she's breathing heavily, she's letting out gasps and moans, she's telling you that that feels really good. Again, all of those are good indications that she likes it and it's ready for you to make your next move. So trace your finger or thumb along along the vaginal opening, right, right, the entrance of her vagina, but don't go in just yet. You're gonna wanna make sure that she's wet and your finger is wet enough that this is going to feel really good when you finally do it. You're also taking this time checking around the outside of her vagina to make sure that she's fully relaxed. This is your way of letting her vagina know that it's okay to open up and you're inviting it to reach its highest level of sensitivity before you move on to number three, when she's ready. Step three, start with one finger. Now, unless you already know this woman and maybe she's had multiple children and given vaginal delivery, you're gonna wanna start with a single finger. It's always safer than starting with more. Just because a woman is enjoying herself doesn't mean that she is ready for intense stimulation. You've always got to remember that. The key to pleasuring a woman is going up in intensity in stages, one at a time. And by the way, that's true for pretty much everything. Kissing, penetrative sex, and definitely fingering. So you wanna make sure to start with only one finger and work your way up from there. And again, we're never going in dry. It's just not a nice feeling. I'll say it a thousand times more. We're slowly sliding a finger in, usually the index finger or the middle finger, whichever feels good for you. And what you want to do is at first just make little circles checking out the whole area. Think of this as making 360 degree contact with the inside of her body. This is also part of waking up all of her nerve endings. And once you've done that, you can start with a gentle come hither motion. Start with a slow movement and smoothly insert, come hither, 
continue to explore, come hither, continue to explore. Rotate in either direction, checking out the vaginal walls. Only do the come hither when you are facing up towards her clitoris and check in with her on what feels good. The thing that you just do not want to do is do a seesaw motion. Remember that your fingers are not a penis and that's actually their best quality. You have a penis to do straight thrusts with, right? Your fingers should be moving more like this and maybe some ins and outs, and pulling on the top of her vagina from the inside, flipping around, and come hither. Which brings me to step four, add another finger. As long as things are feeling good and she's ready for it, a lot of women love the feeling of having multiple fingers inside of them. The feeling of being stretched a little bit and filled is a very pleasurable thing, especially since so many of the nerve endings of the vaginal canal are in the first two inches. So. If your girl likes more than one finger, and I think that most probably do, here's exactly how to do it. Remember, the key is to do things fluidly and smooth. So the best way to do this is to slowly pull out one finger, place the second finger right next to it, make sure that it's moist on the outside, and then twist back in as you insert them both. This move is pretty much guaranteed to get a little of pleasure. And by this point, she's gonna be really warmed up and she's probably going to be experiencing a lot of pleasure and a lot of arousal. What do you do now that you've got two fingers in? You continue to do what you did before. At this point in a woman's arousal, her pleasure is really coming from consistency. You really don't need a whole bunch of crazy moves to stimulate her. You just need to do the thing that feels best for her over and over again. The come hither while gently pulling a little bit, halfway in, halfway out, is more than enough to make her squirm. And we haven't even included her clitoris yet. You can also continue to explore different motions, the same ones that you did with one finger. Pay attention to her body and listen for her verbal cues. When she looks like she likes something, keep doing it. It's that simple. By this point, she's well beyond just aroused. And when she's fully warmed up, it is time to bring in the big guns. Time to bring out the big guns. Step five, stimulate her G-spot. And the G-spot is a small spongy area inside of her vagina on the back side of her clitoris, usually like one to two and a half inches inside of her body. Now, by doing the come here motion, you're actually already touching on her G-spot. That's why that feels so good. But stimulating this area really particularly is going to get her closer and closer to having an orgasm. And generally the best way to do that is to continue the come hither motion, but with additional pressure and speed. And this is the time to start to bring things in a little bit more intensely. And this is also as an alternative, you could bring her clitoris in. You can moisten your thumb and use your thumb up against her clit. You can bring your mouth in. Again, if you've agreed that that's part of what you're gonna be doing and you don't need to use a barrier, like you can use your mouth and begin to gently, very gently lick and suck and stroke her clitoris with your tongue. It is absolutely up to the two of you and it may change day over day. Sometimes you may wanna use your thumb, sometimes you may go for the G-spot blasting orgasm and try to get her to squirt. And sometimes you may go for oral sex. Again, it depends on your preferences. But continue to pay attention to the small reactions. Continue to watch what she's doing and gauge if you have the tempo and the pressure right. And if you're ever in doubt of if she wants harder or faster or softer or anything else, you can just ask. I mean, at this point, if she's into it, you might even add a third finger. Just check in with her on what she likes because different women like different sensations. And if you're going in with three fingers, then I recommend that you keep them in like a little triangle where they're sort of stacked on top of each other. It's a little harder to bend, but sometimes the, the sensation of being full can make up for the lack of finger dexterity. At this point, you could bring in her clitoris again. You could even grab a toy and use that in your other hand. You could place a toy that she likes up against her clitoris. The options are really endless because she's going to be properly warmed up and prepared for more intense stimulation. So at this point, it's really just about finding what works for her, what's exciting for you, and something that is sustainable so that you can be consistent. When it comes to the female orgasm, that's pretty much the secret. Build anticipation, go low and slow and fluid until she gets to the point where you can really bring it all and overwhelm her with pleasure. And of course, if she doesn't orgasm in this way, that doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It might mean that she's not able to orgasm through this particular kind of stimulation and she prefers to have penetration. It's all 
good. Sex is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And one of the best ways that you can make it all of those things is by doing an incredible job at warming her up with your fingers and using these tips so that you can do it in the right way. And remember, when it comes to providing incredible pleasure and connection with your hands, Fingering is only the very tip of the iceberg. You see, vaginal touch, both internal and external, when done the right way, has the power to deepen your connection, create emotional intimacy, and even deliver physical and emotional healing. For women, the best sex of our lives comes from partners who know how to connect with us on a deeper level and create maybe even an emotional bond. And because of that, yoni massage, which is a massage that is done to the external and internal body is an incredible tool to bring you closer to your partner while providing unforgettable pleasure. And that's why I have created an entire course on the art of yoni massage that teaches men how to do just that check that out in the link below. Because from getting women to open up sexually to experiencing orgasms for the first time or multiple orgasms, healing problems and pain associated with sex, making sex feel fun and comfortable again, this course is a game changer for people who want to take great care of their partners. I can't wait for you to check it out. I'm Caitlin B, thank you for watching and I will see you here next week. Happy fingering y'all.